Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Lacquer Lover and this is my nail art tutorial for BTS's second music video for their lead single on Unmapless Soul 7. I'm going to be painting my index fingernail a sheer beige, my middle and ring fingernails black, and my pinky and thumbnails a light blue. To start with the gradient for my index fingernail, I use the beige, a yellow, and a brown, and I'm just going to be sponging this on, and you can have kind of bare spots here and there, that's totally fine. On top of this, I'm going to be drawing Jungkook's hands. So Jungkook is the main character, I guess you could say, of the On Music video, and in the beginning, he has his hands bound by this sort of bracelet of thorns, and of course, this marks the beginning of the music video because when Jungkook puts his hands into that lake, these thorns turn into a conch shell. First step is basically just to lay down the color in the relative area where the hands are going to be and then we're going to be adding shadows as well as highlights to better define the fingers. Off camera I also added brown and now I'm going to be adding the fingernails with a light beige. And around the hands of course I'm going to draw the thing that has bound them together. It's kind of like a handcuff but it has a bunch of thorns. So I'm using black just to create a thick band around the hands and then we're just going to add a few spikes coming out of it with black polish. And on top of these spikes we're also going to add chrome for some of the reflective glare. And next, I'm going to be working on the middle fingernail, which is inspired by Suga's scene. And what I really like about his is the kind of switch from the landscape of the field to the dark kind of church interior. So I went with a bright red and I'm just drawing a vertical stripe down my nail. And then I'm also going to be using a sponge to sponge on a bit of a darker red just to add a little bit of texture and depth. And next I'm going to be using white polish and we're going to start slightly underneath the middle of the nail and go down to the tip and this is going to be the candle. I noticed during Suga's scene that the only sources of light are candles and so I wanted to add that element to this nail art and of course I'm using white polish and just building that up and on top of this white base I'm using different like warm tones like yellows and orange as well as red. And then on top of this candle I'm just going to add the little flame part. And I'm also going to be coloring in the flame. And now I'm using cling wrap to apply red polish to my black base. And I'm just going to add a bit of gold. And the reason why I did this is because the robes that the boys wear in the darker scene of the video um, has these kind of colors. So that's what I did. And then I top coated this as well because I noticed that this lighter yellow that I was using to paint this conch shell was kind of smearing up the base colors. So it's crucial that you top coat before you draw this design and essentially I drew this because it plays such an important role in the video. A lot of things change after JK blows into the conch shell. And of course I'm adding a lot of shading with browns as well as tans and beiges on top of this light yellow and then in the little kind of nook of the conch shell, I also added a bit of black. And connecting this conch shell to my cuticle, I use gold polish. And then I top coated these three nails and we'll be moving on to the pinky and thumbnails. For the pinky fingernail, I started with this gradient of blues for the light blue sky. And on top of this gradient, I'm going to be using white polish to add a few clouds as well as a bird that is flapping its wings away. Now I'm going to be top coating this design as well. On the thumbnail, I'm going to be doing the same gradient that I did on my pinky fingernail, except we're going to do this horizontally. Like the pinky fingernail, I use white polish on top for the clouds. Make sure to top coat this so you can smooth over the rough gradient. 
And for this nail, I wanted to recreate a very important scene, and that is when the doors open up and then the six other members without JK and the little girl kind of look into the unknown and they see this cliff or this mountain. It's stretching out and it's kind of piercing up through the sky. Um, and by the end of the video, you can see that the boys have made it to the top and the last frame has no more dream, leaving dream as the only visible element at like the very last frame. And I was very emotional when watching the video because no more dream had become dream. Like the boys had talked about how in the society there are so many people who don't have dreams and that it's okay to not have a dream it's okay to kind of go against the norms and realize that your dream is worth fighting for and it doesn't have to be very traditional but it's also okay not to have a dream but ultimately i think it's it's representative of the boy's triumph it's representative of how having an unconventional dream but with hard work you can get to where you are you can get to the top of the mountain and so that is why I chose to recreate this last scene. I wanted to combine them kind of looking into the future. Of course, JK is not here um, and it's just six members, but I already kind of represented JK with my pinky fingernail because of course that lonely bird was him, but now he has his six other brothers. And for the lettering, I chose a kind of dark blue for the no more part because I wanted it to blend into the mountain. I wanted it to blend into the sky and sort of fade away like it does at the end of the video. And then for dream, I wanted it to be more stark and different against the background. So of course I had to use just pure white and I added that at the tip of the mountain to show kind of the elevation, how BTS have kind of been risen to the top of the mountain through all of their hard work through their communication with their fans and yeah it is a triumph and it is something to be celebrated for and i'm super happy for them now all you have to do is apply a generous layer of top coat and you're done so that is it for my BTS on nailer tutorial. It was an honor to be able to illustrate BTS's love letter to their career in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone!